Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another live stream here on the Chill Out Fight channel. Tonight, what we're doing tonight, we're back in the uh, Fly-By-Wire A32NX, the latest experimental version, which uh, we haven't filmed for quite a while because we've been having to play around in the uh, PMDG 737-300. So it'd be nice to get back to where we uh, where we started off at in the uh, A320 for a change and ready for the upcoming release of the Phoenix A320 as well at some point very, very soon. I did watch the... Uh, pre-release stream earlier on uh, of that which looks rather rather cool so i'll be excited for that coming out and at a rather modest price of 49.99 it's not too bad i don't think for a, a really well developed a320 for a microsoft flight sim but yeah here we are we're down on the ground tonight in Ljubljana. jake buddy welcome along. hope you're doing well uh yeah down on the ground in Ljubljana, and we're going to go down to uh, split in croatia should be a nice little flight. I haven't got long again tonight, unfortunately, because I have to go to work yet again. Yeah, so flight time is unfortunate. It's only about 44 minutes, but by the time we get up and cracking, we'll be doing about an hour and a bit's worth of uh, streaming tonight. So yeah, rooting down from Lubyama straight down to the south, past uh, Zadar, down out over the sea, and then we'll make that left-hand turn back in towards uh, Split. It's a lovely approach down there as well, so it should be quite a good fun flight. Live time, live weather as usual, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and crack on, nip down to the airplane, and we'll get it all set up. Now, YouTube is chucking out an error, saying it's not getting enough data. Well, it clearly is, because Streamlabs is not uh, having an issue. But anyway, we'll jump on down to the uh, airplane, which should be down here. Somewhere, there we are. We are flying Croatian tonight obviously as we're going down to croatia look at that nice 320 very clean looking uh, a320 tonight we are on vatsim we do have freeware scenery for Ljubljana and orbex scenery for split as well and i can see the updated bits for the uh, fly by wire we now have cones around the airplane as well which is quite cool and uh, yeah good stuff and the gpu is there as well so uh, we'll hop on down the airplane is not completely cold and dark night because i was having a little play around with it we got AIG model matching and, uh, like I said, live on VATSIM as well. Now, is there any controllers around us? There's lots of controllers on around Europe at the minute. But, unfortunately, there's nothing for us. Nothing down in split either. But, yeah, ATC all around us. Just two airports I picked tonight. Clearly don't have anything uh, going on. But, uh, what we'll do is we'll nip into the, uh, into the flight deck. We'll get ourselves set up and underway for this uh, little trip down to the split. So, I'll pop you in the full press that first there like I said it's in a kind of a turnaround state we've got one or two things turned on and uh, I have also imported the uh, the first part of the flight plan the inner press I've already imported that as well but we will go and look across here we'll grab the latest sim brief uh, flight plan we are Croatian 2125 and the a320 and currently there's a few clouds at 4500 feet and CBs around Ljubljana but down in split, look at that, 25 degrees, cab okay, light winds, QNH1017. So, should be an awesome evening for our arrival into uh, into split. Like I said, flight time not too long, 44 minutes tonight. Our alternate's going to be Naples. I need just under two tons of fuel to get to uh, our alternate, but that shouldn't be an issue. We need 6.2 tons of fuel to begin with, so we're going to grab, we'll take 6.6, 6.7 tons, and that should uh, keep us keep us happy so that was six seven oh not that much six seven there we are let's pop that in and uh, yeah what's our cruise winds let's have a quick look average winds very light 10 knots uh costing next 37 but yeah all in all it should be a relatively nice flight out this evening so like i said i've done it in a review uh we'll go back to the aoc we'll go and grab the cargo how many people are coming with us tonight 143 passengers and we're going to get those boarding now while we'll do the rest of our setup there's the init request coming in flight level 250 for the cruise not too high tonight and uh clear that off and let's go and have a look at the flight plan what we're going to do so we're going to do runway 12 in Ljubljana and the Lupic 2 delta departure so departure is going to be runway 12 Lupid 2 Delta is our departure. Going to insert that. And down in the split, we're going to fly the ILS. Lovely scenic arrival. 
on a 05. That's going to go via Chemex. We're going to do the Okla 1 Zulu arrival at the moment. Unless ATC come on and change that around. But that will go via Chemex. And we'll insert that as well. Good stuff, right? Let's have a quick look at that. We've got a manual leg after Lupix, which we know about. We can clear out that discontinuity. I won't be allowed to cut to manual leg. So from Lupix, if you have a look at this then, quite interesting for this departure. Here it is. So yeah, you can see. So depart straight out. We could just do a direct to Lupix, really. The Dolsko VOR is here as well, but yeah, they can see the arrows pointing there. That is a manual leg. It says, after passing Lupix, continue on uh, the 122 radio. You'll expect radar vectoring to the, FIR, to the FIR exit point, which will be further on route. So it is essentially just a direct to, uh, to Lupix, really. So after that, we can uh, go down to, uh, to Sabad. So that discontinue obviously will not be allowed to be deleted because we have to fly radar vectors out of that that'll be due to i'm assuming high terrain further down after here because if you see the uh msa around is 5300 it's 9500 to the north and uh austrian territory up there as well but we're gonna be heading down to the south and the east so good stuff we have that sorted out we can have a quick look at sim smart where is it gone there it is just to see if of our performance at least that is what we're going to do there we are let's just go and double check to make sure our uh passengers have gone boarding completed there we go so we can continue with the uh in it b page block fuel we said we're having 6.7 tons zero fuel weight's going to be 57.4 and cg 24.5 that means we can uh, actually go and grab our alternate fuel. Two Naples is two tons. And the trip wind. We have plus four for the wind. Gosh, that can go in there. Tailwind just a little bit. There we have got takeoff weight 63.9, so we'll round it up to 64, but we are in. Libby on it. And we're going to head down runway one two. Weather twenty two degrees, winds like ten knots, two eighty degrees. Runway is dry, anti ice will be off. We said sixty four tons for the takeoff. C A G obviously is forward. Flex takeoff, gonna be climb thrust. Packs on. So we can do a flex of 68, 40, 42, 43 for our V speeds. So let's go and pop those in the performance page. So we have flex 68, flaps of one, and we have 40, 142, and 143. High terrain, so transition altitude today here is 10,500 feet. Thrust reduction acceleration is 3474. We'll change that. And 3474 also for the uh, engine out as well. Let's pop that in. Good stuff. That's all sorted out. Let's go and have a quick look through this uh, flight plan. I'll get the constraints on. And uh, we'll go and skip through here. Like I said, we have that manual leg. So it is a direct out from Lupix. And then we got down to Sabad. So once we get the Lupix, we should be getting radar vectors after that. But yeah, we'll be pretty good there. Top of descent. And then out over the sea. Down to uh, Chemex. And straight in for the ILS as well pretty cool there we are that is all sorted right we can get rid of that also we can then just go and check the stop time initial climb clearance is 6,000 feet back in there that can go in just brighten up one or two of these little bits and bobs just in case it may get a bit dingy on the way down good Q&A set, constraints are on 6,000 feet, 
One zero one seven for the Q and H. And uh, that can go back to Ark. Let's have a look. We can now close the uh, flight deck door. Let's jump on the overhead. And uh, APU's on. We've got all that on. Let's get some fuel. Nice bit of motion lotion to go into there. Nav logo can be on. Obviously no smoking signs. Seatbelt signs. Now we've got fuel. Beacon stroke to auto. And the rest of that... Oh, look, uh, tickety-boo. See if we can remember how to do this after flying the uh, PMDG. But it is nice to be back in the air. Nice to be back in the Airbus. And that's all good. Right, that's how quick look. So we're going to runway 1-2. We'll have a look at the uh, the taxi route and for us. So it's going to be pushed back and then possibly out on November. Down to uh, Kilo is going to be our holding point. And we're with our way out of uh, out of there. So six thousand feet is set. We'll close the uh, close the doors up, and we'll pre-plan our pushback. Uh, forward doors can be shut. Is the jetway still connected. Let's try and get rid of that as well. But let's pre-plan. We do that. And then something along the lines of. On the lines of that should be good. We'll request the tug. That will get shot of the jet bridge, no doubt. There we are, jet bridge has uh, gone on its merry way. Just double check anything happening out of here. That's just, that's departing. Cargo doors are shut as well. That's quite interesting. We also have seem to have a Delta in there as well. Shenzhen Airlines. All over the world here, coming into uh, Ljubljana this evening. That will be the VAT sim, that will be the model, the model matching that has done that, I think. That door is still open, let's see if we can shut that. Should be closing. That is nicely. So we are clear for push and start. Parking brakes released. We'll start the clock and let's nip down here and uh, we'll start engine number two. So we should have N two. Ideally, what have I missed off here? That's it, they for you bleed. Of course. There we are. There's N2, EGT should rise. We should have light up. There it is. Let's get rid of that. 25% EGT, there it is. Pretty cool. I do. I have missed the A32 and X after flying the uh, PMDG. We'll wait for a good start. So one zero one seven set once, twice, Oop. and three times over there as well. Initial stop being six thousand feet, and be aware we do have, like I said, that manual leg. Just here uh, after Lupix. Okay, parking, parking brake can be set. It's a good start, engine two. Let's go for engine number one. There is the, uh, the barking dog. There's the uh, Avianca next to us.
Vile Town Warzone, welcome buddy. Hope you're well, mate. Right, when that starts up, let's go and uh, predict the wind shake and come on. That can go on. Well, arm the spoilers. And uh, auto brake can come to max as well. There's the engine starting on uh, engine number one. So we'll wait for this and then we'll go and do uh, we'll do a quick flight control check to make sure I got these set back up from after play uh, using the uh, PMDG. There is a good start on engine number one as well. Let's uh, go up here and get rid of that and that. Let's have that on. Taxi light can come on. And I think we are good to go. We'll do that flight control check before we uh, we head off. So we should have full up, full down, and neutral, full right, full left, neutral. And we do the rudders. Here they come. Full left, full right, and neutral as well. So that all seems tickety boo. And we'll uh, head off. On our merry way, so there's our route. We're gonna come off. Let's go out. We'll go out our Mike onto Alpha down to Holden Point. Uh, kilo there for runway one, two. So I will show the charts on this other screen just so I can make sure we're not gonna go the wrong way. And uh, let's head down to split parking brakes off. And there we are, we're rolling forward already under our own steam. So my uh, nose wheel steering still works. So look, yes, it does. Good. We'll come out here. This will be uh, Mike, I believe. Make a right here onto uh, onto Alpha, and then we're full length all the way down. So there, right. When we're doing that, let's uh, get the trap the, the traps, the flaps can start travelling. So we have missed off doing that. We can go back to ignition air to start or norm, whatever you want to call it, and. Let's go and uh, tell the cabin they need to be sat down. Clearly they're not listening. There we are. Auto brake is max. And we'll do a takeoff config check. Which is normal. TCAS can come to TARA once we get uh, lined up. Look at that for a view, for our departure, or taxi at least. Right then, here comes, uh, this will be Kilo for our hold point, runway 1-2. There it is, Kilo, runway one, two. So we'll come to a halt. Let's get some lights on. Actually, I might just brighten that overhead. It's a bit, uh, take off, runway lights, landing lights even. Runway turn off lights, seatbelt signs are on. There's nothing lit up there that they shouldn't be. And uh, I think we are good to uh, go. Just double check the approach. Nothing coming this way and nothing coming that way. We'll announce our intentions on Unicom and I just double check, make sure there's definitely no uh, control for us. But yep, there we go. Ljubljana traffic, Croatian 2125, line up runway 12. There we go, let's go and get lined up. Yo, ball freak buddy, welcome home mate, hope you're doing well. 
Welcome back to the uh, A320 after a few days of uh, streaming the uh, PMDG 737. Right, there we are. That's uh, one last check. Everything else looks good. Spoilers are on. We've got flaps of config 1 plus F. That can go back to engines just to make sure nothing goes tits up. TCAS can go to TARA. Auto brake is maxed. That is just a bug. Still, it won't stay on. There we are. Signs are on. The cabin's been advised. Spoilers are on. Flaps are at config 1 plus F. Takeoff config is normal. ECAM memos take off. You guessed it. No blue. Right then. Let's go to, uh, let's go to split. There's 50% on the N1. Let's let them spool up. Engine number two is a bit sluggish. There it is. Manflex 65 SRS runway auto thrust is armed in blue. Little bit of left rudder coming in. There's V1. Rotate up we go. It's a positive climb, the gear's gonna go up. And we're just gonna fly runway heading all the way down to uh Lupix more or less. There goes the uh There goes Lubyama with the uh lovely look at that in the background. Ready to keep going up to our cruise level. We haven't got far to go. 250 for the cruise on the way down. Okay, they've got there's lever climb. Thrust climb, climb nav, 250 blue. Looks pretty cool to me. Look at that. Yeah, back in the uh, back in the flyby wire again. So there's that manual leg to Lupix. We're going to go direct to Sabad, as we discussed earlier on. There that goes. We'll start commanding that right hand turn. Flaps can go back, and with that, we'll uh, disarm the spoilers. We'll increase that integral light in a little bit. Something on the lines of that. And away we go. One last quick check. Are we any ATC where we're heading to yet? Nothing at all. There we are, Croatian. Just here. Yeah, I seem to pick two airports where there's ATC all around us. North, south, east, west. But the two I picked haven't got any. Which would be about right. So guys, those of you watching on YouTube, for some reason, it reckons it's not getting enough data. I'm not sure what that's all about. Because I'm pushing out a decent rate of uh, info. What's the temperature outside? Plus 17, we don't need empty ice. Look at that. Not sure what's happened to that view either. There, perhaps. There's ten thousand. Uh, there is ten thousand feet. 
10,500 being the uh, transition altitude. So we'll go on to the uh, standard Q&H. Let's go and get the lights off. And I think we're still enough that the passengers uh, get up and about. Cool. There's our top of climb right at uh, at at Sabad. Top of descent. It won't be too far after, to be fair. There it is. Not much in between for this uh, this short sector down to uh, down to split. What have we got? Top of climb. Twenty seven, thirty six, fifty. Yeah, about sixty, seventy miles to uh, top of descent. From when we reached our top of climb. So, while that is happening, and we're getting up there in the uh, up in the mix of things, let's just uh, just gonna pop a few things in the McDo ready, just so we know when we need to start that descent. Because, like I said, it's not a long flight. So, ideally, we we want to be not below eight thousand feet. If I show you the chart. Not below 8,000 feet at SP619. Then we're going to Okrov. Left down to SP622, then into Chemex. So it's 8,000 feet is our initial descent, really. So Sierra Papa 619 is the reference. And 250, we're going to be at. I'm just going to work that out because I can't bother using my head to do it. It's going to be quite simple. 53 miles, roughly, is top of drop point. Go in there. And also, we're going to go and bang in the uh, extended center line for split. Just Lima, Delta, Sierra, Papa, and we're going in 05. And that is... Um, we go here. Grab the chart. Airport info. Zero five reciprocal is two two nine. That'll be the radio out. And we should have top of drop. And then if we just move a little bit further out, we should see it. There is the extender centre line. Should we uh, end up being too high, too fast, or something goes wrong? We can fly off as long as we intercept that. We'll know we're heading in the right direction for the uh, for the runway. Pretty good. But look at these views. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, like I said, live weather, live time. Weather in, like I said, weather in split, as we saw beforehand. Look gorgeous. Look at that. 24 degrees now. No significant change. Cav okay. Light winds are 240 at six knots. Perfect evening for an arrival into uh, into split. But yeah, unfortunately, no ATC. Nothing for us. Let's stop climbing. There's a bit of traffic there. He's nine thousand five hundred feet above us. And descending over to our left hand side somewhere. How far is he? Be quite a way out. 40 miles. Yeah, 30 miles ish. Who would he be then? God, it's got to be that Ryanair there, hasn't it really? Nothing else around. But yeah, we are the uh, we are Croatian tonight. Look at that. Pretty, uh, pretty nice. So yeah, guys, I'm not entirely sure what is up with the stream tonight because YouTube is having an issue with its uh, with its life. Also, Twitch has now decided it's only giving us uh, 720p, not HD, for some reason. I don't know why that is. My uh, stream lab settings output. 
uh, video 1920 by 1080 so it should be uh, it should be kicking out a full HD stream for some reason I don't know why it's not don't know why it's not yo scythe buddy welcome along hope you're doing well mate I'm assuming that will be our level off 250 there it is speed out star further traffic in front of us he's descending but he's, co he's coming across us not towards us speed out cruise so there we are it's a bit of a awesome view for this one tonight uh, Scythe the views into split should be uh, pretty cool as well but look at this so that is number three let me just adjust that I'm not sure why that's moved but it's uh, let me just reset that view That's number three. So if I hit Control Alt three, that should uh, lock that into place. Let's just double check. Control Alt. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, there's a the top of climb. We haven't got far to top of descent, like we said. There it is. Just after Palais. So just under sixty miles is top of drop. And uh, yeah, I've got to uh, I've got to head out after this. So it's only a very quick flight but at least because we didn't stream yesterday I did want to get one going tonight just for uh, well just because I can and I wanted to fly so yeah this one's destination data already we can get rid of that for now but yes we'll get some uh, A320 action going again ready for the release of the uh, the Phoenix A320 which uh I'm looking rather uh, I'm looking rather forward to be quite cool for less than uh, for around 50 quid it's uh, I think a very very attractive price for anyone that wants a real detailed a320 uh, 